Okay, this is going to be an overview video covering the new Footprint Studio that was recently added to Search Engine Ranker. Footprint Studio can be found in the Global Options, Advanced Tab, Tools, Footprint Studio. Uh, the whole point of this is it allows you to add new footprints to your platforms. And new footprints means that it can find uh, new backlinks or more backlinks. So just to quickly show you, if you open up, you can see uh, if you pick a platform, you can double click on it and you'll see here the line search term equals and then this is followed by the footprints that Search Engine Ranker uses to uh, scrape Google and find potential backlink targets. So what we're going to do is use the Footprint Studio tool to find new potential footprints that we can add to our platforms. So the way we do this, let's go back to Footprint Studio. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is pick the engine you want to add more platforms to. You can see as you select the engine, the footprints come up in this window. Those are the footprints that are already added to each of the platforms. And keep in mind that certain platforms don't use footprints at all, like Web 2.0s and some other platforms. So uh, you're not going to find those in here because they aren't necessary. Uh, so I will try Article MS, which I played around with earlier. So you can see down here the footprints that are already added to the platform. What we need to do now is add some article MS sites here so the software can analyze them. So what we need to do is if you have a specific URL you can add it there. Uh, if you've scraped some article MS sites with uh, Scrapebox, Gscraper, or anything like that you can import them there from the clipboard. Or if you have your global site list set up which is right here behind this. If you have this set up you might already have some article MS sites saved that you can just import. So let's go from site list. I'll import 20. I'll just import some from identified. You can see they all come up here. And then all we need to do is click analyze. And we'll let that run for a minute. Okay, so once analyzing has finished, you should see your potential uh, footprints come up here in this window, or words that you could combine to create footprints. Um, so let's see the first one here. As you select them, you can see the websites uh, where this word is found on. So all of these websites here contain the word categories, which is 89% of the websites that we imported. We also have search, which is used on 84% of the websites. And then of course, article MS, which is used on 79%. So what we could do is we could start to try and create a footprint out of these common words found between all of these websites. So we do that by double clicking and you'll see they'll drop down here. So we'll do category search and article MS. And I can just wrap some quotes around these to get the exact search. Okay, so here I have my potential footprint. And what I wanna do is choose search engine. I'm gonna go with Google and I wanna test this. So what we'll do is we'll click test it should open it up in the browser. You'll see that it types that footprint into Google. You can see I've tried this before. Uh, some sites I've already visited, but the first thing to take a look at is the results. You can see there's a little over a million potential places where we could leave our backlink. A lot of those, of course, uh, aren't going to work, but there should be a decent amount. If the footprint is good, there should be a decent amount of places uh, where we could potentially sign up and leave our backlink. So what you want to do after you 
have clicked test is you want to go through the first few pages of results and take a look at what's coming up to see that they really are uh, running that particular platform. So what we want is, is we want a lot of the results to be um, using Article MS. So here, even though this website's obviously uh, not working right, you can see powered by Article MS at the bottom, so we know that is one. Uh, let's take a look here. This is also potential. To, oh, that might that looks like that isn't one. Um, oh, it says Article MS up here, so I'm assuming it is. Um, so basically, the whole thing is you want to dig through, take a look at the first few pages, and see if you're getting plenty of that particular engine. Uh, coming up in the the results using the footprint because if you if you use a footprint and you're getting a bunch of random sites that have nothing to do with the engine you're trying to uh, modify then you're going to end up just adding uh, a footprint that is going to make SER kind of work do more work but not bring in very much uh, very many results so you really want to have targeted footprints that's really important so let's say that I've gone through here, everything looks good. Um, what I would do is just click add. And now you can see we have added our own custom footprint. And then what we could do is we could go through, make some more. You can see register is found there. Um, let's clear that. We'll double click, register, submit login uh, we'll throw in article MS in there and again I'll wrap these in quotes and then I'll click test so you can see here we have far less results only 10,000 potential results and then what we would want to do um, is just take a look and see what we're coming up with a lot of the stuff on the first page here looks like it might be junk. Um, so if that is the case, obviously we wouldn't want to use that as a footprint. Here's one that looks like an article MS site. Yes, it is. So. Uh, There's another one. So if this were something else that we liked, um, of course there's not very many results here, but if it ended up being really targeted results and we were getting a lot of that particular platform, it still might be a good thing to add. Um, so then again, we just click add. And by doing that, we've basically added a, a lot more potential places uh, to where we can leave our backlink. Um, but again, the whole point is you want to use targeted footprints or you're going to end up getting poor results. So once you've finished with one platform, you can just go through, look at other platforms you want to modify, pick one out and repeat the process. It's basically just a matter of importing new sites, clicking analyze. Once the analyzing is done, you'll see a list of potential footprints or words that can be combined to create a footprint double click to add them here into the search query and then you can adjust them to how you want maybe add some quotes around them uh, then you click test test them in Google check the results count make sure there's a decent amount of results and then uh, check the front page or the first few pages to make sure that some of those websites are actually showing in the results if they are you might have a decent footprint and from there click add so it comes down in the drop down here and that's basically all you have to do. And just remember that it's extremely important to try and find footprints that are targeted to that particular engine, because if they aren't, you're not going to be getting scraping uh, good results, which will make SER, basically it'll be doing a lot of scraping and not a lot of posting if the footprints aren't good, because it's going to be finding websites that don't actually match the engine. And that's where you'll see in the, the logs 
it'll come up with, uh, you'll see a lot of messages saying no engine match. So uh, yeah, that basically covers Footprint Studio. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the forum.